assalamu alaikum beautiful people today in this short and important video lecture i will discuss practically how to provide crank bar or where is the place to provide crank bar nrcc slab or nrcc top beam so let's start guys if this video is helpful for you so must like this video guys you can see this is the span between two rcc columns so now where is the place to provide crank bar guys this is very easy total span or length between two rcc columns divide by four so l by four distance you can provide as you can see l by four distance you can provide crank bar or extra bars and now why we provide crank bar as i told you in many videos that crank bar provided to resist shear stresses because shear stresses are maximum at the end of the support but crank bar should not be provided at l by 2 distance or l by 5 or 6 distance but crank bar should be provided by l by 4 distance for example if the length between two column is 20 feet so the 20 feet should be divided by 4 then the crank bar should be provided by on the distance 5 feet guys you can see this is span between two rcc columns now guys the lapping length should not be provided at the mid okay or at the end of the support so where we can provide the lapping length so the lapping length in rcc beam it should be provided with l by after l by 5 distance or l by 5 to l by 6 distance you can provide the lapping length okay so if you provide l by 2 distance okay but at the top portion in beam you can provide l by Two distance but at the bottom bars and the tension bars you cannot provide the lapping length guys you can see here this is the beam and they provided lapping length at the end of the support so they should provide on this place they should provide the extra bars look at here guys so here they didn't provide any extra bars are bent up bar so the bent up bar is a bent up bar or crank bar okay it is important to provide to resist shear stresses but they didn't provide so even on the other face they provided at the end of the support lapping length so lapping length is not allowed to provide at the end of the support but if you need to provide lapping length to get full length of steel bar then you can provide lapping length after l by 5 to l by 6 distance so l by 5 to l 6 distance you can provide but guys you can see clearly they provided lapping length at the end of the support so this is not able to resist shear stresses because shear stresses are maximum at the end of the support so therefore if you don't provide crank bar or extra bar so it will provide cracks look at here guys this is beam and you can see the lapping length so the steels look at here so everything is wrong you can see the cut length of bar look at here so guys this is a short video to tell you that lapping length should not be provided at the end of the support where we can provide the crank bar and where we can provide the lapping length so if this video is helpful for you so must like this video so this is the practical video and i hope you learn something new in this practical video thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye